Hi, it's November 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk here from BAM headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Grant, uh, interesting week. Not a heavy week in terms of calendar, but uh, definitely week. interesting week in terms of both economic data and in the uh, elections calendar. Let's talk about the elections in a minute, but let's start by this, uh, talking about inflation data that came out this morning, the Consumer Price Index. What did we learn? Uh, well, we uh, finally saw some good news uh, with CPI this morning. It came out uh, 7.7, gives you a, a sense of where expectations were. That was enough to rally uh, the bond market pretty significantly. The 10-year uh, was at a 410 earlier in the week. It's at a 385 now. Uh, the two-year actually has rallied 40 basis points from earlier in the week from a 473 to a 433 now. So uh, a, a strong bond market, understandably, it now looks like a 50 basis point uh, hike. Um, 75 basis points seems to be kind of off the table. And, and uh, so um, it really is the first piece of kind of good inflation news in a while. And the stock market also reacted really positively, right? Uh, suggesting that maybe the, uh, the soft landing scenario where the economy right. does not come into a recession might still be in play. Exactly. And, and we saw a steeper yield curve uh, also, um, which indicates that, you know, there is more hope for a soft landing rather than a Rather than a recession. So, uh, anyway, all in all, very good news for the markets. You've got, you know, as you said, the risk, uh, the, the the risk on uh, in equities are up 950 points. So, so good day. And then uh, tomorrow is a holiday for uh, the bond markets. So it should be quiet uh, before we head into next week. And uh, in the longer term, there's some interesting news in terms of uh, the longer term calendar this week, uh, $66 billion of bond referendums on ballots across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the most since 2009, according to Bloomberg. And uh, they, for the most part, did very well. Uh, the largest was uh, $4.2 billion, uh, an environmental bond act here in New York State. Uh, that was heavily promoted in terms of climate resilience. A lot of projects tied to damage from Hurricane Sandy, uh, protecting uh, New York from, uh, from future flooding events, that kind of thing, uh, received almost two to one support, almost 70% of voters uh, who cast ballot in that uh, referendum supported it. Uh, also uh, $3.2 billion, I think, from San Diego Unified School District, $2.3 billion from the Austin, Texas uh, Independent School District, uh, another $1.2 billion for road and park projects, public safety projects in Harris County, Texas, which is uh, in Houston. So, you know, really strong support by voters for projects. And again, that's normally what we see in a time, in a time when voters think that the uh, economic outlook is relatively positive. Right. I mean, I think that you also have a market now which looks like it's going to be friendlier to issuers. So there's been a lot of deals that have kind of, you know, necessarily been been put off uh, just for kind of fear of poor execution. And so we're starting to see more you know, smaller deals, maybe deals that are a little bit less liquid, getting away from the big bellwether deals, which were really most of what we've been seeing the last couple months, or at least in the third quarter. So uh, anyway, the market looks friendlier. I think we should see a pickup in uh, volume. It's good news. Right. So the calendar next week uh, is already uh, it's still in formation. We're recording this on Thursday because of the Friday holiday. Uh, the calendar is around $7.5 billion as we talk right now. Uh, we expect that could grow to close to $10 billion yep. uh, by, the, by the end of the day. Any uh, deals stand out to you? The, uh, I think the only... Um, uh, there's an Arkansas Tech University deal that BAM's going to be doing. It's uh, just about $30 million. There's... Uh, uh, there's a big prepay gas deal uh, that City is. That's the largest deal of the week, but um, not that relevant to us. But uh, again, those are the kinds of deals that I think can do pretty well as uh, people are grabbing uh, for munis in a low supply environment. Very good. Well, thanks for your time today, Grant, and have a great weekend.